Hey guys, welcome back for another menu glitch for 113. In fact, this is using the menu glitch that we've now learned we can do in 113, but improving upon it. What we're going to be able to do is move with the menu glitch active so we can go indoors and eradicate the problem of the Y menu coming up when we're actually trying to do some of the glitches outside. That's going to make it a lot easier and it's going to open us up to being able to do more glitches. I'm going to go through all the glitches we can now do in 113 later on in this video so you guys will be able to find out what we can do straight up and I'll link you straight to a guide that you will be able to use just for your convenience if you want to go back and have a look at how it works. So let's get to it. So a lot of the glitches in the game require you to multi-select or perhaps use Y and so far we've only been able to maneuver ourselves right here or to fly any city without being able to move with the menu glitch open. In which case when you press Y this will come up and this will get in the way and cause issues when you're doing glitches. Well we're actually going to get rid of this problem. So let's go do the glitch and I'll just go through all of it in detail once again and you might notice the music is off because it just helps to be able to hear the rocks and stuff it also seems to help with movements speedrunning community does that a lot so we're going to go over to this rock here e west of Celestic Town and we're going to hit A on it to activate our strength you know have a little conversation make a friend so once strength is active guys I'm going to hit R and left on the D-pad specifically not the analog stick and I'm going to do that at the same time so R R and left at the same time so I can move my character to start the animation for pushing the boulder as well as get the poke catch open which by the way your hand should have fly or be over fly and ready to go so left and R at the same time like that and I'm gonna hit fly and I'm gonna hit left again to push the boulder and you'll hear the boulder sound right and now I'm going to go ahead and hit fly on a Celestic town or anywhere actually will do I'm gonna hit a and X with certain timing like this a X and A again and that's going to give me the menu glitch while we are in movement here so ideally if you guys are not very good at this or if you're new to this listen to your game sound you'll be able to hear the boulder stuff I'm, fr I'm experienced I don't actually have my headphones I don't need to hear it at all so now we have the menu glitch open but as you guys should know we are not able to move right so we're actually going to be able to activate that instead we're going to be able to activate the movement go into Pokemon Go into check summary of any Pokemon. And this point's very important. I'm going to hit A and Y, similar to how we used to hit ZL and ZR off beat to activate the 111 menu glitch. But this is just going to be A and Y and then Y again, kind of like this. All right, let's do this. A, Y, Y, and the screen will flash black and you will go into your bag like that, okay? And now we can just hit B and it will close completely. 1B and it will close and you are now able to move. So, where's the usefulness here? Well, when we go indoors, the menu will pop back open as if it was never closed. It's popped back open. And now we have the active menu glitch inside the Pokemon Center. We can't move inside the Pokemon Center, so this is still going to uh, stop us, or we're still not going to be able to use the rename glitch and the move relearner glitch. However, we are inside, in which point hitting Y will do nothing. It will not bring up it will not bring up the global YCOM at all. So we are free to do everything we wanted to do where Y would come up and be a problem. We can now clone, dupe, we can do all sorts of different things, use the infinite items, multi-select, and you name it, you got it. We can also delete boxes this way without any issues. So there you go. That's going to be very, very helpful. I'll actually go through all the glitches we can now use comfortably with this glitch. So all the glitches we can do, let's go through them. I will make sure to have a list of these glitches linked down in the description for your convenience, guys. That will just help you all out so you know what ones you're able to do. We got the instant empty box glitches, which you can do. Make your own shiny is also doable now as well. The fastest item duplication is also doable as well. Cloning Pokemon and items as well is also doable. There's a difference between the item dupe and the cloning one. The item dupe will allow you to duplicate without cloning. Um, but if you want to clone and dupe as well, you can actually use the previous video to just delete the boxes after you're done. And of course, you can also check your shiny eggs using this video right here. People have been mentioning the money glitches and stuff. Well, this used a different menu glitch, so this is not activated in the version 113. However, you can just duplicate the plate.
plates, uh, the Arceus plates, and use those plates to trade in for the gems and get TMs, which are very, very expensive TMs, and you can sell them. So actually, money should not be an issue either way. You will be able to still duplicate those items and sell them. And of course, guys, we also have Infinite Rare Candies glitch, which you'll be able to use all the rare candies in your inventory and your proteins and TMs and whatever without actually using them up. Because again, we have Menuception in 113 once again. So we'll be able to go ahead and use them, open the menu glitch again and save and all that stuff without actually using them. So uh, I have, like I said, all these videos for these guys linked down below. They are all currently working in 113. Guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found this video useful. I will see you guys around in the next video. We've got some more Legends Arceus stuff on the way. Actually, there's a lot of news coming. The game is about to leak. And of course, we're going to be hunting for glitches in that game too. And I cannot wait because it's a brand new game from, game from Game Freak. And as we know, Game Freak made Sword and Shield, which has loads of exploits and bugs and stuff. And I cannot wait to see what they've fumbled here in their brand new project, Legends Arceus. Stick around if you want to see too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around the next one. Till then, bye.